In our previous video, we discussed five concepts in dealing with JavaScript constructors. In this video, I'd like to take a look at how to create safe constructors. So first, we'll take a look at the issue that can happen with constructors. Then we'll take a look at a pattern to help solve that. So let me jump to Sublime and we'll get started. So first, let's create a simple constructor. We're going to pass into this constructor a first name and a last name. Similar example to what we've used in the past. And then we will attach that to a first name property of the new object and a last name property of the new object. Now when I'm creating constructors, I usually like to use a function declaration as opposed to a function expression. Now that we have our constructor created, Let's invoke it. And we'll invoke it two different ways because I want to show the problem that can occur with constructors if you do not use the new keyword. Now, as we discussed in the previous video, the key to constructors is the new keyword. So this first example will be without new. Second example, user2, we will create using the new operator. All right, so we have our constructor and we have two examples of invoking our constructor. Now, let's go ahead and see what happens. We'll save this jump out, refresh, and open the console. Now from the console, I'm going to access each one of those variables. So user1 is undefined. User1 was the one we created without using new. User2 obviously has the information in it, James Smith, as a first name and a last name property. Now, it it's probably not a mystery to you that user one ended up undefined because we didn't use new when we invoke the constructor. But there's a side problem that occurs when this happens. Let me go ahead and type in first name and press return and notice it is set. What it did is it created a first name and a last name variable in the global space. So on the global object. So if I jump back to this code, this refers to the new object that is created when the keyword new is used. Well, if the keyword new is eliminated, then this refers to the global object and therefore it will create a variable on the global namespace. And that could cause problems. So that's the problem we're trying to avoid. Now, a convention is to always use an uppercase letter at the start of your constructor identifier. But that's not going to prevent someone from forgetting to use new or even yourself from not using new. And it could create problems. So, let's look at how we can correct this. We're going to do that with the instance of operator. Now, the purpose of the instance of operator is to determine if an object belongs to a particular type. Or it can also we can also refer to that as belonging to a particular class. So we're going to use instance of to do that. So in an if statement, we'll check to see if this, now remember this refers to the new object if new is used. Or if new is not, is not used, it refers to the global object. So if this instance of users, so if it is an instance of this type, then that's good. That means we used the keyword new. So then at that point, we go ahead and continue 
with the rest of our code. So I'm going to put those statements inside of that if statement. Well, what if they don't use the keyword new? Are they just out of luck? Well, we can solve that as well. We'll do an else statement here. And the else statement is simply to return new users. And we pass in F name and L name. Now, why does that work? Well, the reason that works is because by default, the constructor will return the new object that is created unless we return a non-primitive value in place of it. And that's what we're doing here. And the non-primitive value we're returning is we're simply having it create a user using the keyword new. And we're passing in the same data that was passed into the function. And so that way, whether they use the new keyword or not, they will get an object of this type. Let's go ahead and try this out. So I'll save that. We'll go ahead and refresh. Now let's take a look at those two variables. User one, sure enough, there's the first name and last name property, a part of that user. And user two, sure enough. And let's check to see, nope, there is no global variable first name now that we've made this correction. So a great pattern for making safe constructors. So if somebody forgets the new keyword, it still works and it doesn't cause the problem of muddying up the global space. If you found that helpful, please like this video. You can also subscribe to our channel. We release new videos each week about JavaScript. And you can visit our website where we have additional information about JavaScript. And that is allthingsjavascript.com. Thanks for watching.